Hi, I'm Brian Boyd, Managing Editor of Shore Publishing Newspapers and Zippo6.com. I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate hamburger. Alright, so your first step uh, for doing the ultimate burger is prepping your wood chips. Uh, you can do a bit of hickory, just toss in a good handful, and then apple, which has a good subtle flavor and makes it good. And you do this first because it takes a while for them to soak in. Uh, so, yeah, definitely your first step. I like to cheat, hurry it up a bit. I don't know if it works, but I think it does. Alright, next up, you're going to prepare your beef. Rather than getting ground beef, you want to start off with a nice chuck steak, something that's well marbled. And then you're just going to cube this up to about one inch cubes. If there's any big gristly bits, you can take that off, but if the fat is going to help it pick up nice. Okay, now that you've got your beef all cubed up, you're ready to move it over to the food processor. I also like to toss in a little bit of garlic, a little extra flavor. So, in it goes. If you've got a big processor, you can do about a pound of beef at a go. If not, just do it in smaller bits. It doesn't take very long at all. Alright, now you don't want to overwork the burger. It, uh, it gets uh, pretty ground up pretty quick, so unplug your machine, carefully pull out the blade, and really the first time I did this I was a little freaked out about whether I was going to get it right or not, but really it's steak. Nobody cares if you get a big chunk in there. So just form your patty loosely and move on to the next one. Okay, now that you've got your uh, patties formed, the only thing left to do is do a little salt and pepper. And I strongly recommend fresh ground on both, much better flavor. And one of the things I do to cheat is uh, put the salt and the pepper on the plate before you put the, burger, the patties down. That way you have to handle them that much less. Now all I have to do is go find something to do, walk the dog for another 20 minutes or so, and then time to start the right, grill. We're going to use a Weber uh, kettle, a charcoal grill to do this, and the easiest way to start up charcoal this with one of these little chimney doodads. We're up with the hard chunk charcoal. And then just light the paper on the bottom. And in about 10 minutes, it's going to be ready to grill. All right, while you're waiting for the uh, coals to heat up, it's a good time to prep your toppings. We're going with our own lettuce here. Uh, we got some nice tomatoes over at Scott's, some cheddar cheese, got our rolls all sliced up. We're also gonna do some uh, fresh corn while we're at it. So uh, yeah, just prep everything up and bring out the condiments. You're good to go. Okay, well you know your coals are done when the chimney looks like the afterburner of a jet. So you very carefully lift that bad boy up and dump. So then just even out the coals a little bit and toss on your grill. And give that about five minutes to heat up. Okay, now that your grill is good and hot, you're gonna prep the wood chips. So you just drain them out. Prep your grill and toss them on. We're just going to give that a few seconds till the wood starts smoking. And just watch the smoke hole. And, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, now it's just go time with the burgers. Put them over a good amount of heat. And then close it back up. Keep the smoke in good shape. Alright, that is smoking nicely. So uh, it's been a little more than three minutes. So time to flip these bad boys. And then, of course, it's time for some cheese. All right, we give the cheese a couple minutes to melt. Now I'm just going to toss on some rolls to toast them up. All right, time to serve up some burgers. So that's it. It's a fresh chopped chuck, apple and hickory wood smoked uh, burger with cheddar, fresh tomato, and lettuce on a great bun. It's my ultimate burger.